Wayag, Indonesia. This area is one of the most stunning spots in the country, says Michael Travers, head of marketing and communications for Sea Trek Sailing Adventures. Egypt, Jeffrey Kent, founder of Abercrombie and Kent, recommends going to Egypt. Climb up the Cheops Pyramid in winter when there aren't many tourists. Abano Tibani, Tbilisi, Georgia. The baths in Abano Tibani have thermal water that bubbles up naturally from the ground below, says freelance photojournalist Sarah Freeman. Tbilisi gets its name from the old Georgian word Billy, meaning warm, due to its hot, sulfurous water. Namibia, flying over the sand dunes in the Namib Desert in Namibia is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, says Lucy Jackson, co-founder and director of Lightfoot Travel. Northern Lights, Canada's Yukon Territory is one of the best places in the world to check out the Northern Lights, as seen here on the Eagle Plains, says Hannah Tideman Klassen, founder and director of Curio Trips. Minas Gerais, Brazil, this is the mining heartland of the country but there's also untouched wilderness, a flourishing art scene and it's home to the rare woolly spider monkey, says Matthew Lapolis, luxury travel manager at Absolute Travel. Komodo National Park, Indonesia, a view of the breathtaking Komodo Park. It has a secret cove where a pod of dolphins rest at night, says Eddie Widnall, founder of Ultimate Indonesian Yachts. Vilanculos, Mozambique, each day in Vilanculos, the sandbars appear when the tide goes out. Kristen Otis, CEO of Be My Travel Muse, says it's a great place to watch fishermen taking in their catch and locals playing soccer in the sand. Greenland, Greenland summers are actually quite pleasant for walks, says adventure travel blogger and photographer Matthew Karsten. He also suggests spending a day walking the ice cap near Kangalusuak, or trekking for 10 days across Greenland's Arctic Circle Trail. Nosara, Costa Rica, the province of Guanacaste on Costa Rica's Pacific coast is a haven for surfers. Nosara, in particular, doesn't get too crowded, according to Karsten. Train between Belgrade and Montenegro, the 296-mile journey between the Serbian capital and Montenegro's Adriatic coast is one of Europe's most spectacular train rides, says train expert Mark Smith. It summits at over 3,000 feet above sea level in the breathtaking Montenegrin mountains. Wilpatu National Park, Sri Lanka Wilpatu allows travelers to track the elusive leopard and sloth bear in serene surroundings, says Skandha Pania, marketing manager for Sri Lanka InStyle. San Francisco, rent a bike and cycle along the city's spectacular waterfront stopping at Pier 39 for clam chowder before heading over the Golden Gate Bridge, suggests Will Swinburne, senior first officer at British Airways. Jamaica. Stunning scenery and a musical history make Jamaica worth a visit, says Matt Vlemix of Elegant Resorts. James Bond fans will want to head over to the beach at Goldeneye, where Ian Fleming lived and wrote many of the Bond novels. Eco Retreat in Kenya, Sagara Retreat in Laikipia County is a place to reflect with nature and solitude, suggests Michelle Karam, founder of Travel Junkie Diary. It's also focused on sustainability, using solar energy, recycling, and growing its own food. Blanquisus Beach, Trinidad, Caitlin Smith, founder of The Remote Nomad, suggests heading to this beach in Trinidad to see baby turtles, surf, eat seafood and pick up some local slang. Boro Bidur, Java, Indonesia, for an extraordinary experience, it's impossible to beat visiting the 9th century Buddhist monument of Boro Bidur, says Sophie Marchant, travel editor of LuxuryExplorer.com. Trek through India's Himalayas, Maxine Headley, Smith 24 travel expert, suggests going to the Himalayas where days are spent adventuring and nights mean sleeping in base camps under the stars. Kenya's northern frontier, Nikki Brandon, director of sales and marketing for travel company Kerr and Downey, recommends heading to Kenya's northern frontier for an authentic journey. Sleep under the stars at a private camp, and keep an eye out for giraffes, zebra and ostriches unique to this area of Kenya, she says. 
Victoria Peak, Hong Kong, people don't really think of walking in Hong Kong, but the city's great for it, says Charlie Stewart Cox, Cathay Pacific General Manager for South Asia, Middle East and Africa. Walk around Victoria Peak, where sections of the path are on the cliffside with the best views of the Hong Kong skyline.